if the X-Men and the mutants were in our reality, if they were simply in hiding, with all of the stuff that's being said currently about them, I would pack up my stuff and leave. And you know what? I wouldn't blame them because at times I feel the same. What exactly am I getting into? So as you guys know, the trailer for X-Men 97 dropped last Thursday. With a lot of high praise and a lot of hype, the trailer was trending at number one for at least three days. I believe at this point it may be over 10 million views, one of the highest viewed trailers. So a lot of people are really excited for this series because for a lot of fans, this is where they got their introduction to the X-Men. But as we have good in the world of life, we have bad. And that is what I want to get into. There has been a lot of hostile and toxic discussion when it comes to this series. And a lot of people already having the mindset that this show is going to be woke. Now for this, I am going to be doing this video because I want to pretty much give out my thoughts on this. First off, the X-Men. Uh, I grew up on the X-Men. Now, a lot of people have came at me saying that, well, you wouldn't know, your generation is lame. Well, to be fair, yes, I didn't grow up when the show dropped on 92. Yes, I wasn't around when the show ended at 96. But one thing I can tell you is that in the 2000s, we had reruns. And as much as it meant for the people who saw the show when it premiered every Saturday morning, it mean the same thing to us when we watched uh, reruns on Fox Kids every Saturday morning. I was one of those kids. The X-Men animated series is what got me into the X-Men. It's what got me to understand these characters and want to learn more. I started going into the comics and learning about the comics, learning about Wolverine, learning about Rogue and Gambit and all the other X-Men and mutants that we've had over the years. One thing that's always stand clear to me is about how the X-Men have always wanted to be accepted in a world where they feel as if they don't belong. Humans feel that X-Men should not coincide with mutants and therefore a minority who's pretty much grown up into a life where there is racism, where there is sexism, where there is prejudice, very biased attitudes and mindsets and that's what the X-Men represent. So when I hear people have the discussion and say that the X-Men is woke or the X-Men 97 show is going to be woke, have you not understood the messages that are being portrayed to you in the comics? Have you not looked at the messages being portrayed to you in the animated series and in the movies? But no, instead of that, they rather go this route because it is what's popping, it is what's popular, woke. When you have that mindset, you you restrict yourself from growing to see what other people go through. You know, not many people who have that mindset go through the idea of walking into a grocery store and having all the employees have all eyes on you because of your skin color. Not many people in that demographic have to go through, you know, going to a job and dealing with not being paid as much as you should over others because of the history of lack thereof. So when you have that ignorant mindset of things being woke, I just, I, I don't know, I just think it's kind of silly, I just think it's ridiculous, and I think that's a mindset online that I see very much often from big creators. But honestly, make your own conceptualized opinions. Stop listening to these big time creators who are constantly man-babying themselves online, who constantly groan and moan and complain about this and about that like they're children. I don't think this show is woke. I don't think the show has ever portrayed to be woke because they decided to make Morph a non-binary character. I know a lot of people feel some kind of way about that, and I understand it, but also at the same time, that doesn't make this show woke. It doesn't make this show... Uh, they damaged the X-Men. You know, some people are treating this as if they've killed the X-Men entirely. No, if, if you don't care about a character, then that's fine. But don't go out of your way to go into other people's comment sections to tell them they're stupid and you're following the woke movement and all this because they want to support this show. They want to support the animators. They love the X-Men. 
don't go doing that because you're only making yourself look like the idiots. And I'm going to say it again. You're only making yourself look like the idiots. I'm looking forward to the show. I've been looking forward to it. I've made so many videos talking about this show in particular and my excitement for it. And don't let anyone else on the internet or anyone else tell you that you should not be interested in this show, that you should not watch this show. If that's what you want to do, you do it and you be proud. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you excited for X-Men 97? And if you have not, please check out my trailer reaction to X-Men 97. I had a really awesome time and a great time being able to put out that trailer reaction. And again, uh, I have an X-Men 97 playlist down here somewhere at the top. I don't know where. But yeah, definitely check out all that content. That's my thoughts. Thank you all so much. Big love to you all and peace out.